And we're back, guys. Uh, like I said, first good target. Well, it was a good sounding target. Came up at 20. It's gonna be a uh, modern junk zinking. Stinking zinking. That's sad. You can't even tell what these zinc pennies are, and they only started making them in the early 2000s. So they're at tops, 20 years old. And I've seen Roman coins in better shape. My lord. What trash. Well, yeah, there she is, ladies and gentlemen. That one actually came out in a coin ball. Um, so, happy days. We got a target. When I'm down here with my sons in the metal detecting, I don't expect to find, you know, old coins and cool relics and stuff. I know I'm going to mainly dig trash, maybe a piece of jewelry or, you know. Like I said, the oldest coin I got from here, I think, was a, uh, a barber. I know it was a barber dime, but I think it was a... Uh, 1905-06 Barber Dime was the oldest coin I got from this park so far. Got a few, uh, actually I was the oldest silver. I did get an 1883 Indian out of here one time, so. Just, uh, luck of the swing, I guess. Just gotta get over top of it. But, yeah, I'm just down here for fun, so. Alright, guys. Stay tuned. I'll get you out soon. Evening, guys. It's, uh, Thursday night after work. And, uh, I had like a Signal I was all over the place from 19 all the way up to 34. And as you can see, I got a wide variety of targets out of there. We got everything from flat screws to a piece of a button to whatever that is. The old iron nail, some nice pottery, and then whatever that used to be. So, not real sure on any of it. Alright guys, I'll get you back out. If I find anything else, good. See you soon. Evening, guys. It's Shane. Derby's down him detecting. Um, we're getting ready to go metal detecting. I wanted to show you my iron garden first. There's a uh, part of a broken carbide lantern. Got some horseshoes and other miscellaneous stuff. Boys, what is this? There's your sock. <laughs> yeah, horseshoes and stuff. Ooh, lost my belt. And over here, just leave it later. And over here we got more horseshoes, we got a Maddox head, axe heads, um, got a big cannon axle right here, off a wagon, that's what that is. Got uh, another axe head with the wood still in it, some spikes, um, yeah, just different stuff I found over the years. These are all like 50s, 60s bottles, some from the 40s, okay like set the light. Bottle. Different stuff like that. Yeah, star bottle was pretty cool. This is a star bottle that Alex found right here from Athens at Star Water. Don't step on that stuff. Alright guys, I'm gonna get off here. Alright guys, been here at the park about five minutes with the boys and my first target. Part of a uh, Timex watch. Pretty cool. Hasn't been there a whole long time. Enough time to get moisture in it, it's not running. Quit running at sometime on the 6th at 11. 18? <laughs> Alright, guys, I'll get you back out next hole. I'm using the Vanquish 8 inch coil, jewelry mode, sensitivity maxed out. And uh, we're just a beat bopping along. Got a nice cut, grassy area, so we're gonna check it. And if I anything good. I'll get back to you guys. I've also found uh, like three pop tops tonight in the last five minutes and a uh, couple just modern nickels. So, nothing fantastic. But uh, I'll get you back out as soon as I get another good signal. See you soon. Alright, guys, I'm back. And uh, my next target's gonna be some copper wire. Sounded awesome. 25, 26. Alright, guys, I'll get you back out to the next good target. Alright guys, I got something interesting for you. I'm working off the lip of uh, this found this concrete foundation here. I used to have a brick stacked on top of it. First target I pulled out was this piece of iron. Okay, my uh, numbers were a jumpy 19 to 27. Um, and no, it's not silver. <laughs> it's something cool though. I don't know what it is. I can't figure it out. Um, first target was that. Next target was that. And whatever it is, is shot. Turn my flashlight on. Ooh. As you can tell, whatever it is, it's toasty. 
Oh, the hole rings up at 25. See, 25. So, could not tell you. It's thin. I believe it's copper. But as for details, it's wiped. There's nothing on it. So, I mean, it's a big coin. If it's a coin, it might be a token. I don't know. I've pulled a lot of tokens. Crap. Pulled a lot of tokens out of here. And uh, I pulled it out of the sidewall right here. There's some glass down in there, as you can see. And parts of brick. Slate. More brick. Rocks. Mud. There's some more glass came out of there. So, yeah. Man, I hope I can... If you guys got any suggestions on how I could clean this up, please let me know. I'd like to at least figure out if it's a token or, um, you know, like a large cent or a half cent or a two cent piece. I've never found a two cent piece. I found one matron head large cent, but it was in a fire, so it was all funky too. Um, not sure, guys. If you know, post below. If you know how to clean it, post below. I want to say I can almost see something right there, but I just don't see it. Alright guys, I'll get you back out on the next good signal. See you soon. Good morning guys. This is uh, another extension of the video I'm making. So the next morning, kids are down at the park playing. I'm just kind of digging around off in the side field. First target is going to be a... Uh, blob of dropped poured lead which is a good sign it was down there a good ways at least uh, I'd say probably at least seven inches but a big old blob of lead that means there's someone standing here melting and pouring something I've also found a few modern pennies a few nickels a few dimes today that's the first old thing I found this morning um, first thing worth recording anyways just gonna hunt around today, kind of pick around while the boys play. Uh, my wife's at work, so we're gonna hunt a little bit this morning. And then when she has her break today, we're gonna meet her at the house and uh, hang out with her for a little bit. And we'll come back down and uh, continue hunting. So, just wanted to show you guys first target. And uh, I'll get you back out when we find the next one. See you soon. Alright guys, got my first surface find of the day. $10. Nice and wet from the dew still. Alright, hopefully that's a good sign. Maybe we'll find some more stuff, huh guys? Uh -huh. Alright, see you guys soon. These are pretty cool looking mushrooms. Definitely would need them. <laughs> They're pretty neat looking. So I love getting out here early in the morning. It's about 7.30 right now. <clears throat> a little after 8 maybe. By now, I had a little time getting the kids up. But uh, yeah, beautiful morning out. I'm going to do a little bit of metal detecting right here. and. See what we can find. I already surface found ten dollars, so that's a plus. I mean, maybe that's a good sign. We'll get something good out of the ground today. All right, see you guys. The first hole. Hey guys, my uh, first target today is coming about three inches down. Came up as a uh, twenty-three, and it's going to be clasped to a watch, I believe. It's what it used to be. Some bling. All right, guys, we'll get you out the next hole. All right, guys, I'm back and. Uh, we got our first coin. I believe it's going to be a weedy. Um, I pulled it out the hole. Yep. I pulled it out the hole and then kind of realized what it was going to be and uh, thought I would show you guys. Try not to show any stinking Lincolns or you know, modern zinc pennies. I don't mind showing you a sweetie weedy. Hope you guys don't mind. Yep. One cent. It's going to be a 1946. All right, guys, 1946. Can't beat that. All right, I'll see you guys next hole. All right, guys, um, I dug the weedy right there. Piece of the watch right up there. And um, I had a 12 signal, nice solid 12 signal. Popped the plug, located my pin pointer, and I started to pry it out. And I seen that little coin edge right there. Oh. Here's your impression. Just gonna be a Jefferson nickel. See what year it is. See if we're at least 
close to same time frame. Gonna be a 1994 Jefferson nickel, guys. So, been nice that it'd have been a buffalo or something, but you never know. So being that close to the weedy, I figured it was worth a shot showing you guys. All right, I'll see you on the next hole. Well, guys, great day. It's gonna be our lucky day. Got the ten bucks, weedy, and I had to pull a nice little junker ring out. Been a whole lot happier if it was uh, solid silver or gold, but it's a cool little ring, <sighs> nonetheless. Pretty cool. I like that. Heck yeah, ring up solid twenty-two guys, so it's copper. Probably just a kid's play ring out of a machine, but still neat little fine. I like that. Heck yeah. Alright guys, I'll get you back out on the next tool. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, next target's gonna be this iron ring. He's about three or four inches down in there. We're at the base of a tree. So. Alright guys, get you out on the next tool. Alright guys, I had a really, really deep coin signal. And, uh, found this broken bottle. And then I seen this imprint. On this imprint, you can see there's a coin. But I don't see the coin. It's still somewhere down in here. There it is, guys. Nineteen forty-four, weedy. There's the imprint from it. Oh, that's a nice one. Heck yeah. There's two nice weedies today. Forty-four, baby. All right. I also got this big chunk of glass out there. I'm gonna carry out of here. But yeah, that was pretty cool seeing that uh, piece right there pop up. All right, guys. Get you back out to the next target. See you soon.